The other day I was thinking, I was having a good old chat with Matthias when we were reminiscing about good old times back in the day of K-Day, the video vlog that we, uh, that we haven't done for a little while now. Uh, and I started thinking about my top three moments from K-Day last year. And I thought, um, you know what, these are actually pretty special, but they're also pretty powerful and some pretty profound lessons. So I thought, why not revisit them? Check them out. Let me know what you think after you watch. There's just a theme of like, am I a high performer coming up for quite Beautiful. a few people? Yep, that's right. good. It's coming up in negative ways. Yeah, yeah. So no, it's not. Keep going. Yeah, so we, this was for us talking it up the chain and. Yeah. Okay, what is high performance? Let me ask you guys, what is high performance about? Pain. That's how you build grit, that's how you build resilience. Trying to avoid pain is the recipe for pain. It's a recipe for disaster. It's the suffering part that is the optional part. I feel what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just not attached to it because I've experienced more f***ing pain than almost anyone I know, physical, mental, psychological, you name it, okay? And it has made me who I am. And I happen to really f***ing like who I am. And who I am happens to be a part of an amazing team that is actually right now changing the f***ing world. So if someone was to say to me at some point, do you wish, you know, I wish that you would, you would never have to go through the pain, I'd say, I will give you every cent I've got right now just to make sure that I experienced all that pain. Because if I hadn't, I wouldn't be where I am. You wouldn't be where we are. And you fucking an athlete, you certainly wouldn't be where you are if it wasn't for your ability to deal with pain and push through in, in situations where you wanted to quit. But what I don't want you to do is to buy into that story that you just brought me, which is I wouldn't wish that on anyone because that's dangerous in this environment because that will lead you to, tr to trying to enable and protect people from pain that is by the virtue, the lesson is required for them to step up. Man, I am so grateful for becoming an addict. Like literally, it's one of the best things that ever happened to me. You know, when you're addicted to something and you want it bad enough, like you're relentless in the pursuit of that fix of that high. Yeah. Yeah. And what I realized is, that's the key ingredient that's required to be a success at anything. Yes. You know, especially business. You've got to have that, that, that resolve where, you know, oh yeah, there's no clients out there today now. You f***ing kidding me? Have you spoken to every person on this beach? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, speak to every person on this beach and ask them. I guarantee you know you're I mean? going to walk away with like five no, You're going to be exactly, get potential you know? clients right there all yeah. your hustling. Yeah. So, I think it's a, it's a gift. we got to deal with our stuff, man. Oh yeah. If we don't deal with our stuff, like you and me, yeah. that shit brings us undone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It sure does, dude. It sure, sure does, man. It's awesome to uh, be able to communicate with you about, you know, about all of that. Wow. That's going to be a, a f***ing podcast and a half. Yeah. It was very good. Very emotional. Fuck. Very emotional. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I honestly think that's going to be one of the most powerful podcasts that we've recorded to date and I honestly believe it'll touch a range of different people. These guys have built a, they built a successful online business then went to launch a bricks and mortar gym and um, I think it was about two weeks before they opened you know when the, the key guy Aaron his wife was was killed in a car accident but it just really touched on a nerve because he just said you know he was always afraid that something bad was going to happen to her. <clears throat> and I think that was one thing that just touched me a little bit too deeply because I saw so much of my own self in, in Aaron. But yeah, that's the, the scorn of empathy as you're constantly putting yourself in someone else's shoes. <sighs> yeah, the way he spoke about Yasmin is the way I feel about Noah. And there are some times that I wish I didn't feel what it would be like to be in someone else's shoes and this is one of those times. We talk about pain being important. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very important. It's what makes us stronger. But I'm also afraid that the more I think about that, the more potential responsibility I have in bringing that into some kind of reality. So I hope this is just the PTSD speaking. Because that's part of the, one of the things I'm learning with PTSD is you always, there's a part of you that just prepares for the worst. You know, you expect the worst. Um, and it's actually nice to know that now. Because before I thought there was, you know, something, there was something wrong. Because it certainly didn't feel like a human thing to do. It didn't feel like a normal thing to do to be, you know, thinking about and expecting the worst things to happen. Wow, some pretty tough lessons in there. I'm sure you'd agree, but it has got me thinking. Should we bring K Day back? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know below. We're thinking about bringing K Day back by doing something really different. We've got some ideas, but I'd be curious to know: Would you want to see it, and how would you like to see it done differently? Let us know below. Curious to hear your thoughts. Talk soon.